G'day everyone out there in YouTube land. Uh, it's Anthony here. Today I'm just going to do a quick video on this Bomber AG SX92. This chainsaw I bought it uh, about 18 months ago, maybe a bit more, from a seller here in Sydney. Uh, I think they're based out at Seven Hills. The saw runs fine after its bit of tw initial tweaking. It runs fine. But when I tried to cut some wood with it, it seems a bit underpowered and uh, I was very suspicious of the the uh, displacement of it. They advertise at 92cc but I seriously doubt that's the case. So I'm going to do some measuring today and share that with you what's going on. Now before I do, quick disclaimer, I'm no brain surgeon or a rocket scientist and I'm not a ma mathematician and I'm not a chainsaw or a small engine expert. But that's not necessary, this is going to be easy, straightforward, anyone can do it, and I'll run through it with you. So, what I want to do, I want to measure the, the piston diameter and the stroke, from that we can work out the displacement or the, the volume in cc's. So, to get to the piston diameter first up, I've removed the muffler by removing the two screws, and these other two screws here, which are not exhaust ports, they're just screws, and that allows me to access into the piston and cylinder. As you can see, I've already positioned that piston so you can just see the top edge of the piston and the cylinder inside there. So now, I'm going to grab my verniers, I'm going to measure the diameter of the piston. I'm going to measure through the port from the back of the cylinder to the front of the piston. Now you can do this with a stick and a paddle pop stick. It's Rough measurements will give you a good enough idea, but uh, so just very carefully. Oops. Pop this down in here. I'm getting a measurement of the piston diameter of 50 millimeters. I'll show you all this if I can. 50 millimeter piston diameter. Now I want to work out the stroke. Let's do that. Simple enough. I'll take out the spark plug. Obviously not meant to be that loose, but I've already had it apart. Now we measure again with the verniers through the spark plug hole from the top of this casting here using that as a datum point what I'll do is plonk this in on top of the piston try to keep in line with the piston or parallel with the piston now I'm just going to crank it over carefully till we reach bottom dead center it's about there again you can do this with a paddle pop stick it's um the amount of area you'll get, I don't think it will matter when you find out what the actual sizes are, what the actual dimensions are. Now I've got bottom dead center stroke of 60 millimeter. Righty out. So that's 60 millimeters to the bottom dead center. Now we're going to find top dead center. Let's point that in there. And I'll slowly crank it over until the only stop moving. That'll be my top dead center. That's there. And that piston is now going down. And I've got a measurement of 24 millimeters. Righty up. So 60 minus 24 equals 36. So this 92, SX92 has a 50 millimeter piston and a 36 millimeter stroke. So now from that, we can work out the displacement. That's all the information you need. Now, you don't even need to know how to do it, folks. It's simple enough, just go online. There's plenty of websites out there that have got online calculators for working out engine displacement. Just type in the figures that you measure and uh, It'll spit out the answer for you, so you don't really need this next step, but I'm going to show you anyway. So here we go. 
what first we need to know is the area of the of the piston which is pi r squared and to work out the volume you simply times the area by the length of stroke will give you the volume or the cc's and pi is equaling to 3.1415 now my cylinder dimensions are like this we've got a 5 centimeter piston diameter and 3.6 centimeter stroke so half of 5 centimeters is 2.5 so our pi r squared yeah, we've got 2.5 times 2.5 equals 6.25 now times that by pi which equals an area of 19.635 now to get the volume or the cc's we simply times that by the stroke by 3.6 and we end up with 70.69 cc's or 70.7 if you want to round it a little bit so there you have it folks this uh, Bulma AG SX92 Advertised as a 92cc saw is total fabrication. It's uh, in fact a 70.7cc saw. Now, buyer beware if you think you're going to go online from this, uh, this seller and buy a Bulma 92cc saw, you're not going to get a 92cc saw, you're going to get a 70.7cc. Now, Maybe in some other countries that's fine, but here in Australia, that's a big no-no. Now, I've, had, uh, I've contacted the seller about their false advertising and told them all the problems with this saw, and they just ignore it. They give you the runaround. They don't acknowledge that there's any problem, and they did offer me a refund, but that's obviously not the issue that I'm on about. I'm not after a refund. What I'm interested in is if I get sold, or if anyone else gets sold, a 92cc saw here in Australia, it is damn well better be a 92cc saw. So, on another matter, this company is also selling uh, in the Bulma AG, they've got an SX82, and also an MTN SX82, which I strongly believe is just the same saw with a 48mm piston, which would be about a 65cc engine. So that's this one, and then the SX82s in both brands, falsely advertised. Now, uh, I've done a bit of other research on this thing. I believe this looks like, I'm about 99% certain, this is a, a knockoff of a Husqvarna 372 XP. If you look up the specs on the Husqvarna 372 XP, it is a 70.7 cc chainsaw, exactly like this one. Now, I've also done some other researching. I found another seller, it looks to be the same saw, different colouring and different branding. It's overseas. Um, they've got this one, the maximum size that they sell it as is, they call it a 71 cc saw, which is close enough. And they sell a smaller version well, the same thing but with a smaller piston from what I've read it's a 65cc saw which leads me to believe that is the same as the SX82 now um, just briefly I believe there is as it's a copy of a Husqvarna I believe there is a piston upgrade for this they call it a 52mm big bore piston cylinder kit so you can get this up to about 77ccs I think it is but oh, that's a video for another day. But just a moment, folks. I'm just going to put this one aside before I wind this up. I just want to show you quickly another one. More recently, I purchased this the, from the same seller, a Bulma AG SX75. Now, I, I didn't need it, but I already have a 62, which runs great. I'm happy with it. Um, but I, I've seen this one. It's supposed to be the same weight, the same size, dimension, power head, but obviously with a lot more power. So, and it was a good price at the time, so I thought I'll grab that because I, I use them quite a bit for chopping firewood. But uh, when I went to use this one, same thing. It's very underpowered. So I'm going to do another video on this one later, folks. So just keep an eye out for that. So if anyone's interested in buying an SX75. Um, you might be interested to see the results in that. 
but keep in mind when I did a cut test with this saw against uh, the 62 this one did absolutely no better and perhaps the 62 may have even performed better so folks keep an eye out for that one Let's see what our results are so um, I hope this video has helped someone out who might be looking at them or interested in them and wondering what they're all about. Buy beware, they're absolutely not a 92cc saw, I'll guarantee you that. It's a 70.7, I've been through it, I've researched it, I've, I'm 100% on my results here. Um, yeah, well, well folks, so that'll give you something to think about. And uh, thanks for watching. I, like I said, I hope I've helped someone out. And keep an eye out for my next video on the SX75. And uh, happy cutting, folks. See you next time.